hello students in this video we will see arithmetic operations on the complex no uh, complex number so first we will see how complex number looks so you can see the complex number is nothing but the combination of real and the imaginary part so let's consider suppose this 4.5 is my real number and 6.7 is my imaginary number so this number is looking like this so 4.5 plus 6.7 i after that the second number is like this suppose 1.4 and 4.3 so is equal to uh, this 1.4 plus 4.3i so this is my real number 1 and this is my uh, complex number 1 and complex number 2 and in this um, in this program I want to perform the addition of this addition of this co two complex number subtraction of these two complex number multiplication of these two and the division of uh, division of these two complex number so actually for for storing this complex number this is whole whole my complex number so for storing this complex number we cannot use the integer data type or the float data type uh, be, uh, because this is the combination of this real and imaginary part so to store it we need to create the uh, the user defined data type so for that purpose we are using the uh, structure so you can see here the struct complex so this complex is my structure name that I am using for creating the new data type and the data type is what name of the data type is complex so this complex is holding the two data member real and the imaginary so this real is a float data type and imaginary is the float data type so the complex contain these two members and here a b c so these are the variables so a b c are the variables of type complex uh, so this is how here i have declared the structure and created the variable so this a b c are the variable now i want to perform this uh, arithmetic operation on complex number with the help of function that means for every function i want to write the function that is for accepting the complex number from the user i want to write the function for displaying complex number i want to write the function for addition for subtraction multiplication and division so for that purpose here above the main function I have declared these functions so first function is the accept function so uh, here I want to accept the these members of the structure that is real and imaginary part from the user so for that purpose I am uh, using here accept is the name of the function and the data type or the return type is the structure itself because here we are accepting the structure um, structure type member so real and imaginary so for accept function return type is the complex after that I want to display whatever I have accepted from the user so again I am uh, like displaying the complex uh, members so the data type is complex so here actually this is what the data type like normally we use here integer float so what type of data you want to display so here I want to display the complex type of data similarly for the accept function return the complex type so this complex is a new data type after that again I want to write the add function so for add function again it accept the two parameter whose data type is complex so that's why I have written here complex complex and again it will return some value so that return data type is again complex same for subtraction same for multiplication and same for division so these are the function declaration after that in main first I want to accept the first complex number so so here the simple message enter first complex number then I want to accept that so here I have called the function accept function I have called and after that display function so we'll see how uh, uh, the accept or uh, what is there in the accept function so you can see in in accept function one uh, uh, variable I have created whose data type is complex and here 
uh, the message is there like enter real number or the enter real part and then with the help of this address of operator that is ampersand t of real so this is for accepting the structured uh, member so that t is the uh, variable dot real is the member so this is how we are accepting the next one is enter the imaginary part and again scan f percentage f because it is a float so here you can see we have declared both member as a float so that's why we are writing percentage f address of operator and percent t of imaginary part so these two are for the uh, accepting and he here you can see i am returning that t so that t, t uh, variable t data type is what complex so that's why we we have given the return type uh, as a complex for this accept function now it goes here whatever value it is returning it is assigning to that a variable and now i'm calling display function display that a variable so here you can see whatever we have given to that a that is copied here and again it is simply printing that so how it is printing percentage dot f plus percentage dot f i so this i i want so actually how i want the number this 4.5 so this for this we are using percentage point f and here i want that plus symbol that's why again percentage point f and after this what i want i want this i so that's why i have written like this percentage point f plus percentage point f and this i and this this first percentage f, f is replaced with the real value and the second percentage f is replaced with the imaginary value and after that new line so this is how we are accepting and displaying now on on this two number on this that first um, uh, uh, complex number and second complex number i want to perform the addition so simply i am calling that add function and passing a comma b so a contain first complex number b contain the second complex number and uh, we see the definition so this is the definition uh, of that add function so you can see here for add function two uh, two um, uh, two numbers I have passed that is P and Q so whatever we are uh, like giving that A value that is copied into the P and B value copied into the Q and we are performing the addition so you can see again that uh, I want to store that addition that um, in the T variable so that's why we are writing like this and here you can see the formula for like for performing the addition uh, on the complex number a plus ij so here we are performing the uh, addition of real part and then addition of the imaginary part so you can see p dot real plus q dot real and that is stored into the t dot real after that p dot imaginary plus q dot imaginary is stored into the t dot imaginary and that we are returning so that t so the data type of t is what complex so that's why this add function is returning the complex um, type so again it goes here and that uh, t value is copied into the c and that display that c so again same display function is called and it will display the number after that i want to perform the subtraction so again subtraction function will call sub a comma b so it will go here the definition so you can see here again whatever value we are uh, passing to a and b so that is copied into the p and q same formula we are performing the subtraction of real part and then imaginary part so same we have written and we are returning that t value <coughs> now after that i want to perform the multiplication so again multiplication function is called and now here you can see the multiplication formula is written a plus ib uh, into c plus id so ac minus bd plus i into ad plus bc so this is how we are performing the multiplication and same i have written over here so that ac ac means what uh, the real real part uh, multiplication so you can see p dot real into q dot real minus p dot imaginary into q dot imaginary so this this we are using and which is stored into the t dot real and after that uh, p dot real into q dot imaginary plus p dot imaginary into q dot real so actually like i have used this formula and accordingly i have uh, put over here uh, so again it will return the t so the t contain the actual uh, multiplication result and again it goes here and it will display here so uh, here for for this 
after that the division function will call so div a comma b so the same according to the formula this division function so according to the formula I have written this um, definition and after that uh, it will go here and it will display the C so display function is same for um, for uh, each uh, uh, for each so now we will see yeah you can see after running it will like ask uh, enter first complex number so here uh, it will ask me to enter the real part so suppose my real part is this 4.5 now it will ask me enter the imaginary part so suppose 6.7 is the imaginary part so you can see the first complex number is this 4.50 plus 6.70 i uh, now i want to uh, give the second numbers real part so that is suppose 1.4 and the second numbers imaginary part suppose this is 4.3 so you can see the second number is this and it will perform the addition it will show the result it will perform the multiplication it will uh, perform subtraction and it will perform the division so this is how we are performing uh, the arithmetic operations on the complex number so here we are passing the structure to the function so here we are passing like a complex uh, name of the structure is complex that we are passing to the function so add is my function subtraction is the function multiplication division so we are passing structure to the function uh, so first we are declaring structure creating variable then function uh, declaration then in main function we are giving call to that uh, function and below main we are writing the individual functions definition so this is how we are performing the arithmetic operations on the complex number thank you